So I'm going to start out with, this one's all about action, taking action, um, and fear. <laughs> all right. Let's say when you look back at an experience on life, do you have more regret on the things you've done or the, the things you have not done? A scientific study said that 75% of people when asked this question uh, said that they had more regret on things that they did not do than things that they did do. All right. So a long time ago when I was 20 years old, um, I just didn't think about anything ever. And I would just kind of just go and do whatever, whenever, wherever, but I never like thought twice about it. If somebody said, let's go jump off a bridge, I did not question it, I just jumped off the bridge. If I said I'm going to go start a business tomorrow, I just went and started the business tomorrow. If it was to go talk to a girl, right up, go talk to her. No questions <laughs> asked. Never any doubt, never any fear. And I can attest that to why I've been, I would say, extremely successful in my, uh, my life, owning you know, six businesses, being able to retire, living in certain places, and just doing all the stuff I've done, I never had any fear, never had any doubt, but I was always moving so fast, so fast. There was never a time where I just sat down, quiet my mind, and really just got really present with life. It was just go, 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 24 seven, I'm thinking about money, how I can make another business, how can I get more money, how can I get more things, how can I just keep going, go, go, go. Never ever slowed down, you know? But I never had any fear, I never had any doubt, but I also had never had any time to really sit with myself and deal with that. And then, um, as I kept going, I was retired, I'm just sitting there hanging out all day, and realizing, you know, I'm not really doing anything productive in life. You know, I'm just kind of here, I'm not better in the world. Um, you know, then I started reading a lot of books, I started doing, like, you know, slowing down, slowing down, slowing down, and then I'm realizing that I have no connection with anybody in my life, my mom, dad, sisters, all these people love me, but I have zero connection with any of these people, even my friends, you know, I was around a ton of people, but I felt so alone because I never, ever made any connections. So then I started really slowing down, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to change my life. First year of chiropractic school was pretty intense, you know, like it was new doing all this work, having to show up, having to take a test, do homework. I'm like, man, I'm too old for this shit. Um, <laughs> you know, like, do I really want to do this? Like, is this necessary, like, to get to the end? And I'm going through all the school and going through all that stuff. Then I start slowing down. Then I start realizing I'm very fearful. And then, like, fear started creeping in, self doubt started creeping in, all this stuff started creeping in, and I'm like, fuck. I'm like, am I good enough? I'm questioning myself. I'm questioning everything. I'm like, can I do this adjustment? I'm 40 years old. I should know this already. Some of these kids are better than me, like, and just like tons of fear, tons of self worth, tons of all this stuff started like firing at me, and I'm like, damn. I never really sat with this and realized that I'm really scared, I'm really fearful. And, you know, I got so fearful that I became paralyzed and could not take action. You know, so I would just chase knowledge at that point so I didn't have to take action. I would say, okay, I'm just gonna read every book. I'm just gonna know everything. I have to know every reason why this adjustment takes place. I have to know why the disc goes here. I have to know why a light contact does this, but I never actually took the action to make the contact, to do the adjustment because I was so scared of failing and not being successful, not being the best. And that's where all the fear crept in. And then I had to think back like, damn, all my life I was never scared of anything I would take chances. Like, what is the big deal? And then I'm like, well, before I was dealing with like money, business, whatever, I'll get it back. But now I'm dealing with other people. Now I'm like, Shit, what if I hurt them? Shit, what if I don't do a good job? Shit, what if I make them worse? So I kept reading, understanding, and trying to like figure it out, figure it out, figure it out, but I was paralyzed. I never took any action. You have to take action. So just probably in the last month, 
I realized like, damn, I really need to start taking some more action, you know, and like going through these adjustments, doing the adjustment, playing full out. The big thing was playing full out. It's like, you have to get on the court, play full out. You cannot be a spectator anymore. You cannot keep reading these books. You cannot keep studying knowledge. You cannot keep going to all these places and doing all this stuff. You have to do the action. You have to take that step. out to me today, I was reading um, John Maxwell's 16 Laws of Communication, the last law is about the law of results, and it was about taking action, and he says, uh, understanding, you know, knowledge and having a great understanding changes minds, but action changes lives, so I'm like, wow, you know, I read all this shit, and I can change people's minds, but I can't really change their lives if I don't adjust them and take action. understand everything there is about neuroscience, then I'll take action, you know, and it's more about taking the action before the understanding. Uh, uh, and the unwillingness to move stops us from making breakthroughs, so if you never take action, you can't really make the breakthrough. And then he said something about, uh, I forget which philosopher said, you must learn by doing doing instead of like studying the map but never like going on the journey like you know every crevice on the map but you've never actually walked the path or done done the thing or being a travel agent but you've never really been to any of these places like how are you going to give that advice um, yeah so the, my talk was pretty much about taking action even if it's tiptoeing just take that first step 